in contact with children who are cautious or who find it difficult to try new things, need a new strategy, then this video is for you. So the first behaviour we're going to look at today is someone that may be quite cautious. And again, we spoke about this in our last video that this could have simply come from a well-meaning parent or teacher um, trying to keep the child safe, but has now led to the child um, not really being able to take any risks for fear of being hurt. The affirmations which I feel would be really helpful for this type of young person would be you can explore and experiment and we will protect and support you and we like to watch you grow and we like to watch you learn. So one strategy that has really been helpful for me is to really try and demonstrate with the child before asking them to take part independently and I think it's very important when you are trying to encourage someone that is quite cautious to not use words such as oh that's that's so easy or come on then um, with a child that's cautious these words are not going to help and the easiest way that I can illustrate it is with my son who was very cautious actually and we used to go to the park and there was a, a climbing frame that he would kind of go towards but didn't really want to do it and I used to use those words of come on it's easy come on it's, it's, it's just a couple feet and that didn't work and what it did was put more pressure on my son so not, not only was he balancing his, his fear but he was also balancing the, now disappointing his father and what I did and what I changed about my approach was I started to do it with him so instead of me being far away, I would maybe climb onto the first ledge and say, this is how you do it. And I would take his right hand and, and help him feel his way. And then take his left foot and really do it with him and really take that time to show him the ropes. And slowly but surely, he is now confident in it. And that bravery has now translated into different parts of his life. Another useful strategy is try to use soft play centers, um, which may seem really, really simple. It is very effective. And with all of these two strategies to do with cautiousness, the main thing is about the child feeling powerful and feeling that they have the ability and have the resourcefulness to actually do things which they feel they cannot do and using a soft place setting allows the child to really experiment and to explore what they have already been capable of doing but in a much safer environment and the result of this will be a child who is aware of danger and fear but is not a slave to it the next behavior you may come across is a child that really has a difficulty in trying new things. And some of the affirmations which I think are really key with this type of behavior is you can do things as many times as you need to and learning makes lots of mistakes. So one key strategy which is really important with this type of behavior is to really celebrate and reward trying more than accomplishing, which I think is really, really important. Um, the best way for me to illustrate this is my son started to learn how to skate and he was a very cautious boy and he was a boy that really didn't like to try new things. And what I realised was I needed to take off the pressure of him having to accomplish it and I needed to put a greater emphasis on his trying. So as he would skate and he would fall down, I used to clap and scream and make a lot of noise and really celebrate every single time that he fell down. And the more he fell down, the more he started to laugh, the more I started to laugh. And it started to help him to understand that falling down is part of it. And I'm not only celebrated for when I do things perfectly, but I'm celebrated for when I'm trying and I'm giving him my all. The last strategy, which I think is really important is to try and start with what they can do. 
One of my students has a real difficulty within maths and especially trying new things within the arena of maths. So what we started to do was before he would start maybe a new subject such as multiplication, we would put in front of him a piece of work that he could accomplish. And we would use this piece of work almost as an anchor. So if during the lesson he became frustrated about this new challenge that we were asking him to do, we would refer back to that first piece of work and really talk to him about the fact that he was able to learn something and he was able to answer these questions correctly. And he's the same boy in that room. And from there, we were able to start to shape and change his image of himself and his own ability to tackle new situations. I think one of the key things with this strategy and I think with all the strategies that we've spoken about today is about the child getting back their power. It's about the child feeling that they are powerful, knowing that they are capable and knowing that within them are the resources necessary to conquer all of the challenges that life will put in front of them. So that's it guys for the doing stage strategies. So next week we will begin our journey looking at the thinking stage. And as we did in our last couple of videos, we're gonna be looking at the job of the child within the thinking stage and also some behaviors that you may see which may be an indication of some challenges within this stage within their development so yeah guys if you've enjoyed the content that you've heard today please like please share please subscribe and as i always say i will see you next week